The scenery around Seattle can take your breath away. To the southeast stands Mount Rainier, the volcanic jewel of the Cascade Mountains. Mount Rainier's 14,000-foot glacial summit is a familiar presence on the horizon. To the west, the stunning Olympic Mountains stand proudly atop the Olympic Peninsula, offering the promise of untold adventures close to home. Seattle is situated at Water's Edge in the heart of Puget Sound, the iconic fjord that extends more than 50 miles from its southern reaches to the Strait of Juan de Fuca the Sound's gateway to the Pacific. Puget Sound supports local communities and hosts a diversity of aquatic life, from resident orcas to salmon. Unfortunately, the waters in Seattle's immediate vicinity are a sad example of the impact pollution has had on the local environment. The Duwamish Waterway is the lower section of waters that originate in the Cascade Mountains more than 60 miles away. By the time these waters flow into Seattle's Elliott Bay, they are so laden with pollution that the state of Washington warns residents not to eat any crabs, shellfish, or fish caught in the area. Salmon, which move through the Duwamish fairly quickly and therefore don't accumulate as many pollutants as other fish, are accepted from the ban, though consumption limits are recommended. The pollution sources in Elliott Bay and the heavily industrialized Duwamish Waterway are numerous. From persistent legacies of industrial pollution like PCBs to sewage overflows, chief among these pollutants is mercury. Two cement kilns along the Duwamish's bank self-reported mercury emissions of about 100 pounds combined in 2007. The Ash Grove cement kiln emitted 30 pounds of mercury. while the Lafarge cement kiln on the Duwamish's western bank emitted 72 pounds. Both kilns, readily visible from major thoroughfares around downtown Seattle's south end, are near residential neighborhoods and schools and have saddled the local communities with poor air and water quality for years. The Duwamish's water quality is so poor that a five and a half mile stretch was declared a Superfund site in 2001. It's a long road to rehabilitate this heavily polluted waterway, but EPA's recent decision to finally regulate mercury emissions from cement kilns takes a healthy step toward that goal. Earth Justice has been working to clean up the cement industry's toxic mercury emissions for over a decade, and will continue to defend the right of all people to a healthy environment. To learn more, visit www.earthjustice.org mercury.